This video is brought to you by Karma, an all-in-one shopping assistant that helps you save time and money. This is my Batman inspired PC desk setup. I have 10 dark themed items to show you, so let's get down to it. The setup had been in the works before the movie was released when I first got delivery of the ROG IKEA Offspring in a package of this desk setup chair and side drawer on wheels trio. At first, I thought this desk and everything that comes with it would be heavily inspired by the gaming community. Still, in real life, it is very subtle and honestly exceptionally designed, hence, fitting the needs of many and not just gamers. I took the plunge and purchased the most expensive compact version of this collaboration package combo, a motorized desk, a draw unit on wheels and a stylish looking chair. The desk itself is built like a tank and visually looks very hush hush in terms of gaming branding. It comes with four presets for height adjustments and it has little perks like the USB charger built into the controller. I dig the gentle cutout on the front side of the tabletop and the black finish looks like something to stay for years to come. The only downside of this specific black finish is that it not only collects dust, which is typical for anything black, but also skin marks. I'm not sure if moisturizing my dry skin will help Either. The drawer unit looks just as good, but for some reason feels cheaper than the rest of the items. In fact, it feels cheaper by the Alexa drawer standards. A great perk for both the desk and the drawer unit besides its wheels is the built-in cable management on the back and underneath. The desk has a cable organizer that I absolutely love. The drawer unit can easily hide a power outlet too. I ordered the headphones hanger as well in the same color theme and branding, and I like it because it's metal and very useful. The group spell chair looks very elegant, especially in this pure black color. It provides many adjustments, plenty of which are on the armrests. Complete transparency. I first found this chair the most uncomfortable chair I've ever sat on. After a few weeks though, it started to grow on me to the point where I use it daily now. The reason I found it uncomfortable at first was because of the padding. The seat has very little of it and coming from another favorite IKEA chair of mine, feels like I'm sitting on concrete. The armrests have no padding whatsoever, which is okay when wearing long sleeves and not so much the rest of the time. Nevertheless, I am saying all of this just to keep it in mind and keep in mind also that I'm using the chair daily now and I enjoy it plenty. The monitor I use for this setup is by BenQ, model number EX3210U. It has some very unique features like the fact that it has 144Hz refresh rate, fantastic built-in speakers and even a remote control. This 32 inch size provides all the gaming real estate one might require on a desk. It is the perfect console companion too since it comes with HDMI 2.1, ideal for 4K gaming at high refresh rates. This display comes with 2.1 built-in speakers as well and it's honestly the best sounding monitor I've tried so far. When using the appropriate gaming preset, the display can provide some powerful shots and explosions when gaming. As I mentioned, the remote control comes in very handy for all audio presets and when going through the various picture modes. I have a dedicated review on this display, so feel free to check it out in the description below. By the way, all the items will be linked in the description below, including a link to the wallpaper that I created myself for this setup. I moved over my 2.1 Logitech speakers model Z407 from my other desk to spice things up even more in terms of sound. The speakers can be used horizontally or vertically or both, and I believe they match the dark theme of the setup ideally. The included subwoofer can create some serious party vibes. In fact, I find the bass a bit too much at very high volumes, which for gaming is very cool. The Z407 also support Bluetooth, so besides being connected to the PC, I can also use them to play music around the studio. There's also a rotating control knob in the package that sits flush on the desk, ready to ramp up the 80 watts of power that comes packed in the speakers. Overall, I'm happy I picked them up and I understand why there are some of the top selling Logitech speakers on Amazon. Undoubtedly, I didn't want to pay full price for them, so I used Karma to find a coupon code that got me 15% off. Karma is your finest price connoisseur when shopping online. It comes in the form of a Chrome extension and a mobile app. Once installed, suppose I'm looking for a deal on a backpack, I can go to the product that I'm searching for and tell Karma to notify me via email if the price drops by, let's say, 
25%. In the case of the next item that I'll share with you, Karma notified me when it came back in stock. Karma automatically finds and applies the best coupon codes at checkout. I can plan and organize my shopping by saving items that I like from thousands of stores to shopping lists. And what I love most is that I can get real-time price updates on things I've saved. Oh, and let's not forget that I can earn cash back while at it. Get Karma for free in time to shop for Easter weekend sales by clicking the link in the description. Thanks Karma for sponsoring this video. The mouse that I chose for this setup bears the most badass name and it's by Razer called Death Adder V2 Pro. My modest gaming honestly doesn't give this mouse justice. It is a mid-weight right-handed gaming mouse that supports most grip styles and hand sizes on paper. And I have to concur with Razer's claims because I find this mouse extremely ergonomic. Being a lightweight mouse with an exceptional grip, I prefer to use it most of the time even when working on the Mac. I opted for the wireless option for both peripherals because I hate dealing with cables. Despite it looking dope when lit in red to match this setup, I tend to keep the RGB off most of the time to preserve the battery. The mouse comes with the highest grade PTFE feet which makes the whole mousing experience a gliding bliss. It is hooked up to the PC via the dongle which is also used for the keyboard that I'll talk about in a second. Overall fantastic mouse and I'm not surprised that Razer sold over 10 million of those units. While on the topic of the mouse, the mouse pad that I went for is a recent discovery of mine. You might be surprised, but it's a mouse pad by IKEA, and yes, it's a gaming mouse pad. Unlike the cool mouse name, the pad is called Lenes Pelare, which in Swedish probably means life adder, but I might be wrong. All jokes aside, this 14 by 17 inches mouse pad is just as good as any other gaming pad. I like that it's not pretentious and it sits admirably on any gaming desk. It is easy to clean and works just as well with laser sensors as well as optical ones. Now back to cool names, the keyboard is again by Razer and it's the Black Widow V3 Mini Hyperspeed. It is a 65% mechanical gaming keyboard that comes without a function row, home cluster and numpad, but it has arrow keys. Size-wise, it is similar to a 60% keyboard, which is what I like. My version comes with Razer's yellow mechanical switches that provide a lower actuation point and produce extremely smooth keystrokes. The included sound dampeners do further reduce its already low sound profile and the double shot ABS keycaps are everything I might require. Both the keyboard and the mouse can be connected via the provided hyperspeed wireless dongle while also working in Bluetooth mode. Unfortunately, only the keyboard comes with USB-C while the mouse charges via micro, but I'm considering the mouse dock if I get too annoyed using the port of yesteryear. One more unconventional output peripheral device that I'd like to point out before talking about the PC is the AirPods Max headphones. I know this makes no sense in the world of PCs, but I have to say I was as surprised as you when I first connected them to the PC while in the search for gaming headphones. Once paired, the AirPods Max connect really fast to the PC. The first time I used them with the noise cancelling enabled, I was convinced that I won't be having to search for another pair of gaming headphones. Sure, I don't have spatial audio, but I don't think many can beat this experience in terms of sound. Plus, they match the dark theme of the setup just right. Okay, the PC. This is an older PC built in a new body and a significantly improved cooling system. It's not a high-end configuration, but it's precisely what I require. Last year, I did a PC build with the help of my friend Dimitri from Hardware Canucks. In terms of aesthetics, I was thrilled to rock the IQ Unix case in white and orange jacket, but I had one major complaint, noise. Since we weren't able to fit the cooler that you know, I had in mind, I opted for the default Intel cooler, which boy, is it loud and annoying. So when fixing the cooling, why not change the case? This made sense. Anyway, the same configuration from last year now lives in this uber cool Fantext Evolve Shift XT case in black. This time, the addition of the Fantex Glacier 1 240MP CPU cooler makes all the difference. With this liquid CPU cooler, the system is now whispering quiet. I can only hear some GPU noise when doing more, you know, extended and intensive gaming sessions. Still, there's really nothing to complain about. Plus, in terms of aesthetics, you can't really twist your soul and not agree with me that this might actually be a case that Batman might use. I'll put a link to my initial build with Dimitri below if you want to check it out. Of course, this wouldn't be a themed inspired desk setup without 
a proper themed item placed on it. This Lego Batmobile from the latest The Batman movie ties the entire setup together. I've always been a Lego fan and I've built many Lego City toys with my son, but this is my first Lego from the Technique series and I have to tell you, it won't be the last. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you'll find my desk setup playlist useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or ping me on Twitter. If you got this far, why not subscribing? As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.